Hi there, this is Martin from Shot Design Channel and today I'm going to show you the rest of action in section 1, retouch, tab A. Let's get it. Here is another example for you in this amazing picture. She has freckles on these areas. Luckily, Shot Design Panel is also have the accent for freckle skin. It's located here. Let's give it a try. Do it. And again, press B to pick up the brush with the flow around 10%. And we slightly brush on the freckles. We can see the freckle fade away. If it doesn't affect too much, so just increase the flow a bit. Maybe 20. We can pan over some minor blemishes as well. Please make sure I don't pan over the eyes or the beneath or the edge of the nostrils because these areas are supposed to be sharp. Just pan over the places where it needs to be softened. Okay? When you are done, merge layers by Ctrl Shift E for Win or Command Shift E for Mac. You can also easily choose Merge Layer button in Shadizai panel. For some minor blanks, you can use the pack tools to remove or spot healing brush tools by pressing J on the keyboard. After you are done with cleaning plamses, wrinkles, moles in the skin is the turn for skin smoothing. In case you guide not off for remove skin AI action blurs, so side eye panel offers surface blur action which you already separate high and low frequency. Select it. Now we choose the forehead or somewhere else you can clearly see the skin texture in the Gaussian blur box. Decrease the number of radius by clicking, dragging the tiny triangle all the way to the left and after that, we slightly increasing it. Please choose the radius at the point where the skin texture is all blurred. Depend on the quality of the image. If it's a low quality image, the radius is around 2 or 3 pixels and at that point, you cannot see the texture of the skin. However, for the image, the texture is not completely go away due to high resolution. That's why I'll keep increasing the number of radius to the point where we cannot see the skin texture in the Gaussian blur box. In this case, it can be around 5 pixels, I guess. Now we use the mixer brush tool to pan over the skin when you want to smoothen. As usual, it's located on the left hand side. If you cannot see, right click at the icon here and the mixer brush here. This action is already separate at the high frequency and low frequency, so you guys just spend directly on the low one layers. Remember, for the wet, just around 1 to 5%, depend on your image. And the low is 75. As for the mix, since we don't add any color, so just leave the percent as it is. For the flow, because the flow stands for how many drops you want to apply on each time, so in this case, I will choose around 20. And now, we pen. Please make sure to pen on the direction of the skin texture. Don't mix up between the shadow areas and the highlight area. Just keep it where you want to be. I'm 
So let's see the before and after. It doesn't change too much because basically the picture is already starting from the beginning. Okay, now I'll take you to another action which is Smooth Kid AI Double Plus. Here is the next beautiful pictures credited to Raw by Pixim Perfect. Since I don't want to take your time too much and her skin looks great, I've already taken all the minor spots so we can directly go to the action in the panel. The Smooth Skin AI Double Plus action is automatically fixing the skin for you, but it gives you the flexibility to adjust in the frequency separation box. Firstly, run the action. Oh, wow. It's really surprising me. I'm quite satisfied with the result. But if you're not, these options are for you to modify. With the strength, is for smoothening so that it means the less strength, the more softness will be applied to the mask. Just reduce all to the left and increase gradually to the number where it suits yourself. I'll leave it at 36. If you guys just want to soften some specific areas, I can show you how to do that later. For details, if you see the skin texture is go away, you can take it back by increasing the number of details. 86 is the good number in this case. I can clearly see the texture return. It's great that you can change the radius and threshold in surface box. DB stands for dark and burn. It used high pass and Gaussian blur to apply into the mask. You can see the difference when I uncheck the box. Next, for opacity, smooth and TP, you can adjust the number of the options to the point that you see fit. There is a mask after all, and now if we just want to apply these effects on some specific areas, we will add a layer mask to it by clicking to this square icon located in bottom right corner and turn this white mask to black by pressing Ctrl I or Command I for mask. After that, we use brush by pressing B again as a shortcut and paint over the areas we want to apply. This is the before and this is the after. Awesome. Moving to the next action. I'll release this layer and now choose the last smooth skin AI triple plus. Oh, the box of frequency separation appears and for the image, they can recommend to use as 9 pixels. X1, X2, X3 and 4 represent how much softness you want to apply. I'll try with the last one. And now, use brush again and paint to the areas you want to affect. Remember to adjust the flow before painting. Well, not bad at all. We can see the minor changes on her skin after all. Okay, let's remove the layer and jump into another action. This time is perfect skin action, and the last one is super smooth skin. I'll speed up the process so that you can see the final result of each action after all. In 
some cases when you accidentally paint too much, you can take it back by Prac X, which is to switch it white foreground to the color of black and slightly paint over those areas again. I think this perfect skin action makes her skin more softness. So in this situation, you can adjust the opacity, lower the percent a little bit, so that the image will be look even more nature. That's all the actions of section 1, retouch, tap A. Let me know which one is your favorite. In my opinion, I'll go for Smoothkin AI and Smoothkin AI Plus. If you like this tutorial, please hit like, subscribe, and the bell, so you will have a notification when a new tutorial is released. If you are interested with this panel, don't be waiting for giving it a try. We open all functions of this panel and you can experience up to 30 days. We'll put the download link in the description for your information. Thank you and bye bye.